Yes, thank you so much. Deborah Grant hasn't worked or been paid since before Christmas, with health care, car insurance and mortgage payments piling up, plus two children to feed. Have a blessing. Thank you so much. She's turned to this food bank just outside Washington. Bread, there's mac and cheese, which is one of my daughter's favorites. As a contractor, she's unlikely to receive back pay when the government reopens. Well, I've cut back on everything. I mean, I've cut back on, we don't go out, we don't do, I mean, everything that I've done, I try to do it in the house because my thought is every time you go outside, you're going outside to spend. And I don't have the money to spend. So I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to go. So I'm just hoping Trump gets it together real soon because everybody is suffering from this. As the shutdown enters its second month, this food bank is handing out more than 1,000 bags of groceries to government workers. It's also offering mental health classes to help them deal with the stress and anxiety that come with being suddenly without work. This comes right after Christmas, so people have spent a lot of money, perhaps during the Christmas time, and so now this happens, and some people could maybe saw it coming, but, but now it's here. So, so, so what do they do with, uh, with, their, with their emotions and their relationships going through this? President Trump has said this shutdown could last for months, even years. And with the mood between Democrats and the White House as cold as the temperature outside, he could be right. Polls suggest most Americans blame President Trump for the shutdown, but he's standing firm on his demand for $5 billion to pay for his wall at the border with Mexico. Democrats say they won't negotiate until he reopens the government. Hardly anyone has a lot of confidence in the way the government works in Washington, and a considerable number have no confidence in the way our government in Washington works. Um, I think the attitudes could become more negative if this drags on, but again, they're pretty negative to begin. In the meantime, the impact on government workers and the economic cost of this shutdown is growing by the day. Harry Horton, TRT World, Washington.